So, I'm Dave Brulette, I'm from Tacoma. I'm Carol, I'm his wife, so I'm also from Tacoma. <laughs> okay, so I got into soccer first, and a number of years ago, we were, our interests are very different, like she's an outdoor person, she likes hiking and woods and stuff like that. I'm an indoor guy, I like movies and reading, and, and so we just weren't doing a whole lot of things together, and so she came to me with this deal, and she's like, okay, we're gonna make a trade. Yeah. We will buy a thousand Earth season tickets for one year in exchange for tango lessons this summer. And the deal was, I'm going to go to a full season and pretend to enjoy myself because I was a thousand percent humoring him. Like, soccer was not a thing I cared about. Um, but then he was going to go to tango lessons and pretend to enjoy himself. We have never been to a tango lesson. <laughs> this is a, we're entering our fifth year of season tickets and... Zero tango lessons. <laughs> it was all her. It was her job to set up the tango lessons, but now she's as, if not more, obsessed with the Sanders than I am, so... Yeah. Um, it's actually, I think, really important to our marriage. We have joked before about, like, man, if they ever have a losing season, like, we're done. <laughs> um, which I don't think that's the case. No pressure. <laughs> but it's... We, we have at times been on opposite work schedules. I work teacher's hours, he's work nights, so it's like I get home at 4 or 5 in the evening, he's already left for work, he comes home at 11 o'clock, I'm already in bed, and it's like this ships in the night era of our marriage, and it sucks. But having like, there is a game this Saturday, like it's a guaranteed, you know, you drive up to the stadium, you walk, you get, you know, it's a great date and it's like every single week. And then Sunday, it's soccer Sunday, you sprawl out on the couch and watch a couple of games. And so it's this huge point of connection for us when like, depending on the work schedules, we don't necessarily have a lot, but when you tell your boss, you know, I have tickets to a soccer game, I need Saturday off. Like, they're more willing, I think, to give you that than like, I would like to see my wife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which seems weird, but I would say, like, with my current job, I actually, when I got hired, I very specifically said, I have Sounders season tickets, I will need those times off, just up front. <coughs> and they're like, yeah, okay, we can work around that, okay. Good, and because, yeah, it is, it's not just a game, it's, it's us, it's time together, it's something we can count on. And so, yeah, it is, I think, hugely important. I do remember when I first got into soccer, before the Sounders even came back to or joined MLS, um, it's kind of hard to call USL Sounders from Tacoma. I didn't you couldn't get news or anything, so I didn't really follow the Sounders then. But I became a Chelsea fan because of FIFA. And I, I, we were on vacation at my parents' house. I stumbled out Chelsea game on TV. First time I'd ever seen EPL on TV. And so I text her from the other room, all capital, Carol, come here, come here. And she goes running in and I go, it's Chelsea. And she gives me this look like, and just silently walks out of the room. <laughs> and so that's where we started from. I still give him that look. There will be something really great he did on FIFA, and I'll just be like on my computer game or whatever, and I'll be like, no, 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 look, look. Really, I'm watching a replay of your soccer video game. So, like, we don't connect 100% of the way there yet, but it's an important connection point for us, especially because I can't take him camping. So this is, this is the thing we can do together. There's bears out there. It's been really cool because... I got involved with Sounder, or I got involved with soccer starting, say, 2006 with the World Cup, and so I went through the process of, okay, I think I know what I'm talking about, and then I get more into it, and I realize I don't know what I'm talking about, and I think I know what I'm talking about, and I get more and more into it, and then I got to watch her go through that exact same process, and, you know, those points where it's like, oh, I understand how the formations work, okay, I get this now, and I'm like, I remember going through that, and so watching her go through that is really fun. I like it because it's a great learning experience. I'm an educator, so like I've taken this very like learning target structured approach. Um, it's like the first year was like, I don't know what's going on, but there's like flags and beer. I can cope with this. Um, and then the second year, it's like, I will memorize the names of all the players on the team, which probably should have been a first step, but it helped. And then the next year was like, I will know all the starting goalkeepers in the league. And now I'm working on coaches. And I think last night, my learning target for the 2016 season is I will know all the DPs. And it's just like, 
I, I like that as my knowledge of the sport grows, my passion for it grows too. So it's, it's been a lot of fun and I think that like learning new things is always important and stretches and all of that and it happens to be soccer and I'm enjoying it. <laughs>